Now I am going to dictate a legal passage at the rate of 100 words per minute based on the latest Supreme Court judgment. Let's start. The specific allegation in the complaint is that on 8th January 2017, the appellant numbers 2, 2, 6 were present on the shoot property and they broke the fencing which caused a loss of rupees. 50,000. To the first respondent, it is alleged that when the first respondent objected, the appellants verbally abused the first respondent and he was pushed several times. Even a death threat was administered by the appellants to the first respondent. The appellants also threatened the first respondent to send him to jail. Para. The learned judicial magistrate Gwalier before whom the complaint was filed recorded the statement of the first respondent under section 200 of CRPC. It appears that the learned magistrate took recourse to the inquiry under section 202 of CRPC and recorded statements on oath of two witnesses of the first respondent, Hori Singh and Lokhon Singh Para. By order dated 23rd June 2018, the Lauded Magistrate dismissed the complaint in exercise of powers under section 203 of the CRPC, the Lauded Magistrate held that the mandatory requirement of obtaining a sanction to prosecute the appellants in accordance with section 197 of CRPC was not obtained in a revision preferred by the first respondent against the order of dismissal of the complaint, the learned additional sessions judge interfered. Stop there. The learned additional sessions judge held that there was no inquiry made by the learned magistrate on the issue of whether the appellants committed the acts constituting alleged offenses in the discharge of official duties the non-performance of which would have made the accused persons answerable for the dereliction of the official duties. Therefore, an order of remand was passed to enable the learned magistrate to record a finding on the necessity of obtaining sanction for all the offenses alleged para. After the order of remand by order dated 11th October 2018, the Lauded Magistrate passed an order directing the cognizance to be taken under sections 294, 323, 427, 447 and 506ii of IPC. The Lauded Magistrate did not record any finding on the issue of sanction. This order of the Lauded Magistrate was subject to a challenge before the High Court by invoking provisions of Section 482 of CRPC by the impugned judgment. The High Court missed the petition. The Lauded Senior Counsel appearing for the appellants urged that even taking the averments made in the complaint as correct, the acts attributed to the appellants were done by them in the performance of the statutory duties as officers of the SAF and the Lauded Magistrate has completely overlooked it. This aspect, in fact, he has not decided on the issue of the requirement of sanction at all. He submitted that even otherwise, in view of the earlier dismissal of the contempt petition, the order of summoning ought not to have been issued by the Lauded Magistrate Para. The Lauded Council appearing for the first respondent submitted that with due application of mind, the Lauded Magistrate issued process. The Lauded Magistrate had recorded the statements 
of three witnesses including the first respondent that was done based on materials on record he submitted that committing acts of trespass cannot be a part of the appellant's official duty stop thank you